At Doncaster races this morning, all eyes were on the numbers. Not just the horses, this is the last day they'll count a crowd like this. Watching in groups of over six is no longer a safe bet. Because this afternoon, this lineup were back to their starting positions. The Prime Minister announcing new restrictions on other gatherings. Over time, the rules have become quite complicated and confusing. So, in England, from Monday, we're introducing the rule of six. You must not meet socially in groups of more than six, and if you do, you will be breaking the law. I'm sorry about that, and I wish that we did not have to take this step. But as your Prime Minister, I must do what is necessary to stop the spread of the virus and to save lives. So from Monday, all social gatherings in England will be limited to six people. That's both indoors and outdoors, including parks, pubs, restaurants and homes, with exceptions including schools, work, some team sports, weddings and funerals. Police can arrest you if you break the rules with a £100 fine, rising to as much as 3200 if you keep offending. Five, six, seven... seven. Seven is an unlucky number for this family. With five children, these games will have to be played alone. Their group's already too big to add anyone else. We understand that we've got a big family, it's unusual, but this now makes us illegal as playmates, as friends, as my children can't have a child over to dinner afterwards, after school, because we're suddenly this pariah group, because there's too many of us. Uh, find the corner, please. The changes required a stiff drink in pubs and restaurants too. New Covid marshals will police the rules, but businesses still worry about enforcing them. There's nothing stopping a table of six and another table of four um, booking under two different names, um, you know, just, to, just so they can sit together. So it is going to be quite hard to enforce. As for how long it'll last, that is an imperfect science, according to the scientists themselves. So the period between now and spring is going to be difficult because this is a respiratory virus. Uh, I think in terms of the ex existing restrictions, people should see this as the next block of time. Uh, that may not last uh, for uh, many months, but it's very unlikely to be just over in two or three weeks. In fact, the Prime Minister believes testing may be the only way to avoid cancelling Christmas. We could be able to get some aspects of our lives back to normal uh, by Christmas through that moonshot of, uh, of, of daily testing, everybody gets a, a pregnancy style test, a rapid turnaround test. 15 minutes later, you know whether you're infectious or not. But for those who hoped this pandemic would be a sprint, tonight the odds on it being over quickly do not look good. Paul Brand, News at 10.